As expected, Vladimir Putin won another term in office as Russian president with a landslide election victory. With him leading Moscow for another six years, it seems unlikely that we'll be seeing drastic shifts in policies on North Korea. Our Park hee has more. Vladimir Putin has unsurprisingly been re-elected by a landslide to a fourth term as president. With a whopping 76 percent of the votes, he'll be in power of the largest country in the world, at least until 2024. Thank you very much for your support. Success waits us. It is very important to stay unified, my dear people. It is very important to win over even those who might have voted for different candidates. But how does his re-election affect South Korea and specifically the nuclear crisis on the peninsula? Much depends on Putin himself, but it's believed that Russia will remain faithful to the task of persuading North Korea to denuclearize. Russia's official stance is that it agrees with pressuring the North to give up its nuclear capabilities, and since it's cooperating with the UN Security Council resolutions, it'll be difficult for Russia to change its stance. But if it doesn't take action, for instance, if it does not deport North Korean workers from Russia, this would not be helpful. Plus, with the upcoming summits related to North Korea, Russia, together with China, is expected to act assertively for its own interests. Russia wants to keep the U.S. from expanding its influence on the Korean peninsula, so it's likely that Putin will strongly suggest that the nuclear issue be solved through multi-party talks. But to keep Russia from breaking away from international efforts to denuclearize the North, South Korea needs to concentrate its diplomatic efforts on keeping Russia on side. In that respect, experts say it's vital for South Korea to maintain close relations with the U.S. because it's America that has the most influence on Russia diplomatically. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.